So yeah, the one of the things I wanted to talk about while I was doing all of this is the so I offer coaching through Medify, which is like esports coaching platform. And just recently, Medify announced that they're making a bunch of changes to the site. And there's a big concern for people like me and the other people who coach Splatoon. A lot of the changes they're making to the site favor people who make a lot of money off their site. So the people that can be professional coaches who can spend their 9 to 5 teaching people for, you know, whatever price they ask for. The problem is, is people like me who charge very little for coaching because our scene doesn't make money. So I don't want to charge a bunch of money for a game that people aren't likely to actually ever make that money back in. Where other games like Smash, you'll see people charging, you know, like a hundred bucks per lesson, which is fine. They can charge what they want. But the reality is, is they can do that because they can make money off of it. Splatoon, not so much. And the people like the Splatoon scene that don't make a lot of money are going to get screwed by some of the changes where certain things are going to be locked behind another tier of like user. So the people who make a bunch of money are going to have like priority on the website, they're going to be, be able to do a whole lot more on the site, where those that don't make a whole lot of money don't have as much control over what's happening. And if it's like a lot of functions just being locked behind not making enough money on the platform, then how are we supposed to make it accessible? Like, I would rather keep it being, like, dirt cheap and be limited in what I can do than try to get, like, one or two people who will pay me $100 to coach them. And when there's people, like, almost all of the Splatoon coaches don't charge a lot. Like, we aren't out here charging somebody an arm and a leg for Splatoon coaching, of all things. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is a lot of the changes they're making are more tailored to the people who are on the site making that their living and people like in smaller scenes that can't do that like I am not going to expect people to pay me hundreds of dollars to get info on a game where they are unlikely to ever see a penny from competing it is just astronomically insane that they would try to drive out people like us now, I don't know if I'm really allowed to talk about this because it's behind a, like, a secret channel. Uh, so, yeah, they're splitting it between Medify Today and Medify Pro. And it's based on, like, the cut and a fee, processing fees, how much is being charged. And, like, uh, it basically means, like, if you pay... To have the or if you get the higher tier of Medify you make more money and you keep more money off of fees to where like a hundred percent of what the student pays goes directly into your pocket which is fair which is fine but like some of the features are being locked behind being a pro like um, if you aren't a pro so you aren't paying for their subscription service you cannot pay you cannot offer paid sessions so without paying for Medify Pro, I cannot charge people for coaching. It means that I can only offer free coaching, which incentivizes not doing a whole lot because you're not making any money off of it. You can only create guides if you're a pro. Um, you can have paid and pri or private and paid groups if you're a pro, and then unlimited control to your stuff is pro. But if you don't pay for it, all you get is offering free sessions. So basically, unless you pay Medify to exist on their platform, you cannot make money off of their platform. Which I would feel like if they're going to change it to where people who, like, pros being able to make a better split in the money makes sense. Like, pay a little bit more and then you get the benefit of you no longer have to lose money out due to processing fees and whatever. But people like me who are not going to pay for that pro version, like... I'm not going to pay that just to offer coaching on the site to make any money off of it. Like, that's just insane to me. And it, yeah, it really hurts people like us who don't make enough money on the platform to justify paying for that pro subscription because what are we going to get out of it? Like, if I pay, uh, I didn't look at what the cost is, but say, like, if it's 50 bucks a year, 
am I going to make 50 bucks in a year to compensate the loss in that pay? And chances are, the answer is no. I don't charge enough. Like, all of my sessions are a dollar per match. Like, I'd have to have people drop 50 matches, like, have me coach 50 matches. And it's actually less than that, because I have bulk pricing. Or if you provide multiple matches, it gets a whole lot cheaper. So it'd be like, to break even, I'd have to char- I'd have to have no bulk pricing anymore. And then have, like, 50 people be willing to pay for coaching. Yeah, I'm thinking the way that it works is that they- the whole, like, getting the pro is to offset the costs in um, losing out on the processing fees. That's my guess, is you're paying that so you can offset the loss that they would take from that. Most of the peop other coaches in the Splatoon scene don't charge a whole lot because we all understand that it would be incredibly egregious to charge people an arm and a leg for coaching in a game where they don't make money. So we all charge pretty, pretty low, but because we charge low, we are unlikely to make the money back to offset paying Metafy to exist on the platform. And that's the problem, is we don't make enough in our scene to offset the cost of existence. Oh, uh, I just found it. Metafy Pro is 30 bucks a month. So I would have to make 30 bucks a month off of coaching in order to make money. I'd have to make over 30 bucks a month through coaching to be even. And let me tell you, I am not even close to that. Let me see how much money I've made in total off of coaching on Medify. Okay, my all-time revenue on Medify in total is $87. So I've only ever made $87 in total off of Medify coaching. And so almost half of that would just go for one month to be able to make money on the platform. Now, this isn't going to be a big deal for people that make actual money off of it, like the professional Smash players or the people who do like really big titles on Medify, I don't think are going to suffer. Um, I think they're probably also likely to be upset over the changes. I haven't seen most of the reaction. Like, let me see. What is... I'm looking at Smash Ultimate right now. Let's see here. Let's look at Larry Lur. Larry Lur, good player. What does he charge? So Larry Lur, for one hour, it's 60 bucks. That's fair. I would pay 60 bucks to have Larry tell me I'm good at Smash. I will accept that. That is to perfectly fine. Those people can charge what they want. I'm just saying, like, in the sense of Splatoon, where we don't make a whole lot of money off competing, there isn't a whole lot of prize pools. Granted, Smash doesn't have giant prize pools either, but they have more money in them than we do. It is... There would be no sense in us as a scene, all of us coaches coming together and be like, yeah, we're going to jump, we're going to spike our prices just so we can continue to operate on the platform. Nobody would buy it. Nobody would be willing to pay the exorbitant extra prices on Metafy for Splatoon coaching. Maybe some people in the SMA like in Splatoon people would pay that sort of money for. It. I don't doubt that. But like a lot of the people like me that are on Metafy right now, we do not charge a whole lot. Larry can make that money and can end up being positive because he is able to charge that much and we'll still have people that'll invest in that. Uh, Splatoon, not so much. You will not have people investing that kind of money into Splatoon coaching. But yeah, just in general, like the changes to Medify have, are not going to benefit the Splatoon scene and our coaches. It's going to actually make it worse for us. And that's the tragic part is Medify as like an idea is really good. I, despite some of the staff not being very receptive to ideas I've had for things, I do appreciate that their platform exists. I think their platform is a really good idea, and it shows because there's already people trying to copy the idea. But these changes are not going to be good for smaller scenes, and I don't know if they've really taken into account how that's going to affect these smaller scenes. Unless they really just want us to start charging people an arm and a leg to do coaching, which I would never do. I have no intent of 
spiking my prices in order to stay on this platform. At no point would I ask a Splatoon player to pay me $100 per lesson just so I can exist here. It sucks because even with the small amount of money that I can make off of this, this is still something. Like I am still using this to assist players that are trying to improve. And that's mostly why I've been doing it and charging so little is because the value for me just comes from being able to help somebody. But yeah, having to having to pay 30 bucks a month to be able to make $87 over the course of how long have I been on this platform? Like two years? I can actually figure it out. So yeah, multiple years, only making 87 bucks. That, like, there's just no way I could get away with charging more to stay on the platform. Yeah, I've seen people uh, suggest seeing if there's a different place. And I have had a Medify competitor reach out to me about becoming a coach on their platform as well. So it is not like a thing where Medify is the only option. There are people trying to compete with them, but it's also a matter of like the uh, Medify has done such a good job at becoming the go-to place for esports coaching that I don't think a competitor will be able to reach that same audience. I've seen people suggest that Sendo offers coaching through his site. Uh, that would be a good one, but it would require uh, him to put in that work to get that sort of infrastructure going. The point is, um, I've rambled on for this for quite a bit, but Medify's decision to charge people to be able to make profit off of their site seems very strange. I get some changes, like having people pay to no longer have to have fees. That's fine, but... Like, you can't offer paid sessions without paying Medify themselves first. Seems very, very weird. So I'm probably going to, like some of the other Splatoon coaches, I'm probably going to disable my Medify and just leave it at that. So basically, uh, very disappointed because I think the idea of offering the coaching was really good. The execution was really good. The customize, like the ability to customize it, like we have been, is pretty good. Other than like the platform functioning as fine as it could be for what it's doing, um, feels like, yeah, these changes are just going to screw over people like me, people like Pika, who also coach on the platform. Like, we are not going to benefit from this, and it is just going to drive Splatoon coaches off the platform. Because especially now we're. Um, I made the decision to come back, but only as a coach. Like, to then immediately be met with, yeah, the platform you wanted to all into, now you can't benefit from. Kind of sucks to lose out on such a good idea. But, I mean, it's their platform, they can do what they want.